Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month. How are you? Ooh, pretty heavy energy there. Okay, we see progress, movement, momentum. Get out of your own way, Cancer. Okay, so let's take it uh, by the beginning. You have the Nine of Swords. This is your current situation. I see you guys very much in your head right now. For some of you guys, you guys are continuously under the impression of your reputation or how people perceive you. Um, you put a lot of stress on yourself on how people view you and i think that october is going to be a month where like for some of you guys it could represent either people being extremely receptive to you and i feel that this has a lot to do with for some of you guys this could have a lot to do with insecurity issues i see you guys really trying or really stressing about how people perceive you how people view you what people have to say about you and you're very much in your head here, Cancer. But the obstacle to overcome is the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups speaks about not only relationships, but this also speaks about the self-love that you must give to yourself. Now, in the past and passing, you have the Queen of Swords. So for some of you guys, you probably dealt with an Aries. Um, sorry, not an Aries. An air sign. It could have been an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. It could be their moon sign. But I feel that this is a person that is could be someone that you secretly admire or it could be a person that you genuinely respect and you have great admiration for but it's very difficult to read them or it's very difficult to get a, a sense of where you stand with them and i think that that's what's creating a lot of stress in your life uh this could be also uh it doesn't have to be a female it could be a male energy as well it is a general reading but what Spirit is telling you here is that you need to work on giving yourself that type of importance and giving yourself that type of love, Cancer. What they're showing me here with the Two of Wands, it's almost like a desire within you to be likable and to be accepted. And the reason I say that is we have the Two of Wands with the Sun card and the two of cups but right at the center it's the eight of swords so there is a lot of stress on how people perceive you because the sun is the representation of self this is a representation of how people view you what people think of you and this could be in regards to relationships as well it could be that you often when it comes to relationships you often stress yourself to the point of playing a part of someone who you're really not because you assume that's the type of person that they are interested in i hope that makes sense so what they're trying to tell me here is for a lot of you guys when it comes to relationships or friendships or connections you feel like you cannot be your authentic self there is something about you that you either try to emulate to the person that you're interested in or the person that you're dealing with or you try to put some type of facade of happiness and blissfulness even though sometimes you are struggling with perhaps some type of depression some type of anxiety and what they're telling you here is that you need to be working on yourself for this month cancer it's very important you have the judgment card here you have the sun card and you have the tower so these three cards are major arcanas this has nothing to do with everyday mundane type of energy this has more to do with spirits growth for you and evolution in in, in order to be able to become the best version of yourself cancer now with the judgment card there was a decision that was made uh, this could have been a decision that was made with this air sign. Um, if you recently 
had some type of discord or some type of pulling away from this air sign i feel that for them it could have been a situation where they felt like perhaps they were taken for granted or perhaps you were trying to uh one up them now it doesn't mean that this is what it was but that's how they perceived that situation so ma they made a decision with the tower i feel that this energy has already happened um, but there is something that shook you. And I think that for the majority of this month, it's going to be about self-realizing yourself or coming to terms with who you really are versus who you show the world. It could be that you're a ray of sunshine to other people when in reality you're dealing with a lot of depression or anxiety. So with the tower, this is spirit telling you whether we have to and for some of you guys it could be like that you are or that you've convinced yourself that you don't have depression or you don't have anxiety but it's kind of like you're sweeping it under the rug and with the tower there is a moment where you're going to be shaken and the reason you're being shaken is because spirit wants you to acknowledge the things within us that we still need to work on and one of them for you majorly has to do with caring what people think. Either you're doing too much for people or you're trying too hard when dealing with people. And for if we're talking about relationships, this could be this could be the reason why people have a tendency of either pulling away or ghosting you. And it's not because you're coming off as a needy but what they're saying is that you're you're trying too hard and it's almost like when we try even in relationships if it's a relationship that's falling apart the more you try to save it the more you try to fix it the more you put energy and effort in it it it, it continuously keeps feeling like it's slipping from your hands and the reason for it is because we cannot force those type of connections they have to be genuine so what they're telling you here is stop feeling the need cancer stop feeling the need to either be on good terms with people stop having the need to make others happy stop trying to overdo situations or circumstances where you should really be working on yourself and self-loving yourself and pouring all that energy and all that effort and all that motivation onto yourself so that you can be able to heal yourself cancer so that you can get to a point in your life where you say you know what either people are going to take me for what i am or they're going to leave me but it is irrelevant to me why because i love myself because i know my worth because i know what i bring to the table Stop being a yes man or a yes woman, Cancer. See, and only through, only through giving yourself this self-love, only through acknowledging the need or desire that you have to portray to people or this image that you have to show to the world, only through accepting the self-love that you give yourself and know your worth and if people take it good and if they don't there's the freaking door only through that are you going to feel empowered are you going to feel in control of your very own life you have the the ace of cups and the magician wow okay for some of you guys you may be dealing with a uh earth sign capricorn taurus virgo but what they're showing me here with the tower and the ace of cups for some of you guys this could be a connection this could be a connection that's coming to you. And I want to say the third to fourth week of October, they're speaking about a connection or a partnership that will start to evolve and grow based on the destruction of ego. Based off of, like I said, getting to the point of not caring how people view you. Stop trying to show this pretty image of yourself, Cancer, and give it to them raw be honest with yourself because only through that will you be able to attract and connect people that are genuinely interested in who you are and this is specifically for those of you guys that are single 
I do see an earth energy coming towards you. It could be an Aries as well. But this is a manifestation of love that you've been putting out into the universe. And finally, this person is coming in, is stepping in. But you got to work on this self-love for yourself, Cancer. That's going to be your major lesson for this month. I hope that this gives you some type of clarity, insight, and understanding. I hope, and it is my ultimate desire for you Cancers out there, to love yourself, to not feel the pressure or not feel the need to portray something you're not, only to accommodate, only to make other people feel comfortable with themselves. Be who you really are, Cancer. Be as weirdly as beautiful as possible. Be who you are. All right? I will see you guys soon. Happy Hallow's Eve.